XRP lawsuit takes new turn as judge pushes for Ripple SCE settlement talks. And is Ripple and XLM, or should I say XRP and XLM rivals? All that is what's trending. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Urban Fintech at the G-Spot Studios channels, where we try to make finance and technology sexy. We have Ripple News today. U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres is pushing Ripple and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, to work out a possible settlement. The SEC stands to gain more with legal experts, noting there is a slim chance that the SEC wins its case against Ripple. The XRP lawsuit has taken an interesting but foreseen turn that could lead to the end of the legal case. U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres has directed Ripple and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission to work out a possible settlement. This is set for April 16th, 2024, and both parties and their legal representatives are obligated to convene for an in-person meeting. The meeting must last at least one hour and explore the chance for a settlement. This development comes just days after the SEC suffered a legal loss after the judge denied the SEC motion to file an interlocutory appeal. As CNF recently reported, the judge denied the motion based on several merits, affirming its strict stance. The appeal would have allowed the SEC to appeal the decision made by the judge at the end of the case. It deemed the ruling not to be favorable. The article goes on to state that the following this minor victory and other recently notable wins for Ripple, including Judge Torres's ruling that Ripple's sale of XRP directly to consumers did not constitute an illegally unregistered securities offering, means the SEC faces certain loss in the final verdict. A number of legal experts agree that the SEC has a slim chance of ultimately winning the case. And we know that Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse has expressed interest in going public, but has insisted this would only be considered after the case was concluded. So are we reaching that final point? So now the question becomes, does Ripple want to settle the XRP case? While it is clear why the SEC would be interested in settling the case outside the court and saving face, Ripple is not so clear, but could be of great benefit. For starters, Ripple has been clear that the case has cost the company millions of dollars. Earlier this year, Garling House revealed that the case had cost the company more than $200 million in legal fees. In addition, it has severed the company's relationship with partners. The most prominent case was its partnership with MoneyGram, which was terminated soon as the case was brought up. MoneyGram ended up working with Ripple's rival, Stellar Lumens. The case has further derailed XRP, whose prices have been negatively affected by the case for the last three years. Ripple has an interest in putting this case to bed and focusing on development. For Ripple, the question would be, is the win in the court better than a settlement behind closed doors? The jury is still out, technically, figuratively, and reality. But we're waiting for this. We are hopeful about Ripple and what they can do. And we are looking for a win, win, win. And settlement would be good as well. Sexy news. Tell us what you think in the comments below.